Welcome to the Land of House channel. I'm Seth. Lipulse just sent four of their 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. That's going to allow me to both test out a 12 volt inverter system with this and also hook it up to a 48 volt system and we'll get to see all kinds of output from these batteries. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing and see what this battery looks like. Right from the start, I see a little instruction booklet as well as a data sheet on these batteries. It is wrapped up in some plastic here to help this not get damaged in the shipping. They have included the terminals off to the side. And so it looks like maybe they have some protective covers over here. Let's go ahead and get this totally unwrapped. There is a plastic fold out handle that does come together in the middle so you can pick this up with one hand, which is pretty convenient. This is a lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery rated at 12.8 volts, 100 amp hours for a total of 1,280 watt hours. If I take the little stoppers off, actually they're just little rubber covers that are over those terminals. So I guess they've provided a second set of those in case you were to lose these. They are on there pretty tight too. I'll have to get a tool to get those off of there. Like I mentioned a second ago, it does have a set of plastic handles. They are not super strong, but I think it's gonna be sufficient to carry the weight of this battery around, no problem. Now this is sealed up, so you're not gonna be able to easily access the inside of this. So we won't be opening these up for this test, but you can see it's a typical size battery and uh, perhaps a little taller than some that I've seen. I'll have to look at the specs here in just a moment. Let's consider some of the specs here on the Lipulse battery. This is a 12.8 volt nominal battery. It has a 100 amp hour capacity, which is a 1,280 watt hour rating. The recommended charging current is 20 amps, but it can be charged at 100 amps. The recommended charging voltage is 14.6, which is pretty typical for lithium iron phosphate. And the maximum battery configuration is four in series, four in parallel, which will give you a 51.2 volt battery at 400 amp hours, which is quite a large battery. As far as discharge goes, you can do a continuous discharge of 100 amps and the peak uh, current is 200 amps for three seconds. And then of course it's got various protections on the BMS. So very cool, nice to have that as well. Let's see real quick what the voltage is whenever this was shipped. So go ahead and test that out here. And our DC voltage is 13.27 volts on the shipping. Yeah, these things were definitely on here nice and tight. I'm gonna make sure I charge this up to 100% before we do our first discharge test. So let me go put this battery on the charger. The light pulse battery has sat on the solar charger now for two days and it is resting at 14.4 volts. So good to go on the charge. I've got an inverter, a heater, and a couple of meters that we will use to test the watt hour output on the battery. So let's go ahead and get started with this discharge test. This meter is gonna keep track of the output and also give us a time. So let me go ahead and plug that up to the inverter. I've also got this one right here, which will keep the amp hours, the current watts being consumed, and the total watts output. And so that will be handy as well. If the uh, battery drops down too low before the uh, test is done, I can always plug this back up and see what our value is, but it should be fine. All right, let's go ahead and get the battery connected. I've got the meter around the red wire here, which will give us the amps output. Go ahead and get this first, connect it up to the battery. This cable here is just for the meter. I'm gonna stick that under the washer here as well. I have a 10 watt 100 ohm resistor that I'm going to put in line with the battery and the negative cable and that will prevent that spark from occurring here on the inverter as the capacitors charge. So just gonna stick one end of that resistor in here, touch the other end over here, and that will allow this to slowly charge up those capacitors and not have that sharp spark that's oftentimes seen. So just give that a second. That's probably more than enough time. 
All right, I'm gonna do a reset on this meter real quick, a reset on this meter, and we'll begin our test. Everything is set up, it's time to begin the test. I'm gonna turn my heater here to uh, get this going, and I'm also going to start my timer here. I've got my heater running here. If we take a look at the display, we've got 588 or 87 watts on that. Move down here, it's indicating 543. And if we move to the overall, 695 or 690 watts. So you can see here on this display, we've got uh, 99.1 amp hours. We're running at uh, 56 amps and we've got 12.3 volts on this battery. Now that we have our battery discharge test underway, we know that we are consuming uh, 690 watts from the battery to run the inverter and the heater. That being said, let's do the math to find out how long this should last. So with a lithium iron phosphate battery, you typically only use the top 80% of the battery and the bottom 20% is reserved for keeping this thing alive. So if you say, 1,280 watt hours, the capacity of this battery, times 0.8 is 1,024 watt hours. And then you divide that number by the consumption, 900 or 690, that's 1.484 hours. So we should see uh, one and a half hours. So when my meter here reaches basically zero amp hours left, then we should be at an hour and a half. Let me let this run for a while and we will see how well this battery does. An hour and 36 minutes has passed and we've got 12.4 amp hours left here. And that means perhaps my calculations were a little off. Maybe we should be using the uh, 548 watt value that's on this inverter right here. So let's consider that real quick. If we have 1024 watt hours after the 80% reduction divided by uh, 500 and 50, let's just say that's a uh, 1.86 so that's about an hour and 50 minutes so almost two hours so perhaps we will see that value here with the last 11.4 amp hours on our meter and we've used 1.1 kilowatt hours and we have the uh, 1280 so hopefully on our display we'll see 1.2 and we'll know that we have used up the uh, watt hours of this battery. An hour and 48 minutes, we have 0.6 amp hours, 1.2 kilowatt hours used. So this test is now done. I am happy to say the battery has performed quite well. Now that I've turned off the load, you can see the voltage has gone back up to 12.7. They're 12.8. So when this battery is fully discharged, 12.8 volts is what we want to see. Now, whenever it was in operation, it was dropping down to 12.5, 12.4, but as you can see, the battery is healthy now at 12.8 volts whenever the load has been turned off. And that concludes the discharge test of the Lipulse 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. This thing performed as expected and as to spec, so I'm definitely glad to see that. That's gonna conclude the video here, reviewing a single Lipulse battery. Now this company did send four of these, and so I'm gonna be connecting these up in series to have a 48 volt battery, and that should allow me to run a bigger inverter. So stay tuned to the channel to watch that video as well. If you wanna check out more information on the Lipulse 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate battery, I will have a link to this company in the description down below. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.